Hello, this next progression is Ragtime in G, and um, sort of uh, um, old, old world style sounding thing. Uh, you know, around the turn of the century, people were writing music like this. I have a heavy appreciation for it. A lot of people do, and just like other styles like blues and R&B and stuff like that, you know, um, it just draws people in, and uh, it's interesting stuff. It's kind of where everything that, uh, that we have today, or most of it, uh, came from. And you'll find that a lot of artists, no matter how far out they go in the creative spectrum and where they end up, they still have uh, or are able to trace their roots back to this, back to this, uh, this style of music. And I'm sure when this was out back then, people really took it for granted. But this is kind of neat. So, um, but we would uh, use this, and uh, so let's go ahead and put it together. The three chords, uh, four chords, sorry, that we're going to use are G, B7, E7, and A7. And we're just going to basically do the same thing twice um, each time. So the first line, we've got four measures, and we're going to be changing a little, a little, uh, a little quicker now. Uh, this is in four-four time, so there are four beats in a measure, and we're going to be changing a little quicker. So it's going to be every two beats instead of every four beats, like we, or every three beats, like we've been doing so far. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. So ragtime and G. Uh, let's go ahead and start on G. Okay, so go ahead and gear up and get ready. And uh, don't forget that I have uh, zip files. I always do that. I have zip files up here, the the right to the right of this video. Uh, in the description of this video, there are there's a link that we that you can click on that you can download uh, four different MP3 versions of this progression. Uh, at different beats per minute, so you know, 40 beats a minute, 70 beats a minute, 100, and 130 are the are the uh, the different tiers that I have of uh, speed, and uh, you can try it. You know, start at 40 and then work your way up to 130. 130 is hauling. That's really fast, but that's about how fast you want to get to be a competent player. It's about 130, because 120 is uh, about the common speed that you hear stuff on the radio at. So 130 is just a little faster than people are used to. But it's just enough to kind of boost you up into the the upper stratosphere of of, of that uh, of that average. So you'll be just a little better than the next guy. <laughs> Not that speed has anything to do with that. A lot of it's feel. Uh, there's a lot of different uh, characteristics and things to, that come into play when we're talking about that kind of thing. So at any rate, let's go ahead and get started. So we've got G. We've got B7. We've got E7. We've got D7, right, and then we're done. Okay, that's it. That's the whole song. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to do two Gs, two Bs, and then four E7s, and then uh, two A7s, two D7s, and then a G. And by the way, that B was a B7, sorry. So here we go. One, two, three, four. Up. Good job. Let's go again. Here we go. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. And here we go. One. kept up awesome if you didn't if you're having trouble keeping up with me that's fine I've been doing this a while cut yourself some slack watch some other videos um, and watch our music theory section because you know what if you really understand music and you understand what's going on in the background componentry and everything it really helps to get you excited about it it's just like you know it's like trigonometry or something you don't really get it you just kind of run the formulas 
Well, if that's what you're doing with music, you're going to get bored really fast and you're going to get burned out. But if you really understand it, it absolutely makes a difference between uh, between really, really, really getting it and, and being excited about it and just kind of just doing it as, as sort of a hobby, which maybe some of you are doing as a hobby. But to really understand it is, uh, is really a beautiful, uh, great thing. So anyway, this is Stu Johnson. Uh, we just did Ragtime and G as uh, putting in a practice exercise, sort of a uh, conglomeration of uh, the stuff we've done up till now, sort of a stopping point. There's going to be one more after this. It's a big progression. Uh, and uh, we'll see you in the next lesson. See you at lessons. Take care.